You got married this summer right down the street from yeah. me, and uh, I was not invited. What? <laughs> you didn't? No, that's not true. I, I sent you an email at your Hotmail address. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have your Hotmail? I do not have the Hotmail. Ellen at Hotmail.com, you're not doing it? <laughs> no. Well, that explains it. I see. I sent the Evite to the Hotmail. Darn it. Somebody's got to give me Ellen's. I need her new email, guys, when yeah. we're done. Yeah, the Hotmail. Guys, who has Hotmail? That's yeah. bad. I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. I missed it because it looked like it was beautiful. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, that was a moment where she looked down into my eyes. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> It was uh, very romantic how many times we had to set the shot. Kevin, can you, uh, can you step up a little bit? Nope, this is it, guys. Um, uh, <laughs> I said that a couple times. No, you know what? It was, a, it was a beautiful day. It was everything that I hoped that it would be. Um, I was happy. And, and you, she was happy. And your son was your best man? My son was my That's best adorable. man. That's adorable. My son was my best man. My son. Look at him. How old dressed, is he? He is eight years old. He's about to be nine soon. Uh, wow. He took it serious, though. Like, I told him and I explained it to him. I said, look, this is bigger than just you having the title best man. This is my way of showing you that you're my best friend. Like, you're my son, but you're my best friend. This is your dad's biggest day, and I want you to be a part of it. You got to be right by my side. So he was like, the whole time? And I was like, yeah. He held the rings. Um, we were doing a toast in the back, and I said, as the best man, you got to give the toast. He was like, well, I'm not drinking. I said, no, you're not. <laughs> You're not drinking, son. So we put some apple juice and a little cup for him, and he was like, this is for my dad and his happiness. And I, I instantly, I buckled. Like, I mean, <laughs> buckled. And he, my son goes, get yourself together. You're about to get married. <laughs> like, like, straight face. Get yourself together. You're about to get married. Like, uh. I really buckled because he just... He didn't take that moment for granted, and it yeah. meant the world to me. So, you know, those are just candid moments between me and my best man that we had before the actual wedding. But he really made that sweet. day. He made it amazing. That's Re my daughter. That's heaven right there. Uh, she made me cry as well, just telling me she loves to see me smile. My kids are amazing. I can't that's talk too much because I'll I'll start crying out here. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah see, that, I can't. That's enough, guys. This is gonna it's gonna start there. That's enough. That's enough is enough, all right? That is so beautiful. You see my suit? Only a thug will wear a suit like yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to break me up here. <laughs> They're trying to break me. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> you went on your honeymoon to St. Bart's, right? Yes, yes we did. Which, uh, there's not any photographers there ever, are they? <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> there's lots of photographers there. And you were jumping off a boat, which I'm so impressed by this shot. Look at, and it's... Yeah. That's that's perfect form. No, the next one, <laughs> the next one is perfect form. Look at that. Yep, yep. That's uh, the next picture you guys don't see. My trunks came off. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I was uh, I was butt ball in that water. Gave a couple fish a surprise they didn't expect to get. Uh -huh. um, the bad part is that the people that were on the boat, the staff on the boat, I came back up because I I didn't see my trunks at first. So I'm just laying in the water, and my wife is like, ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> You out here skinny dipping? I was like, didn't plan on it. Uh, I don't know where the trunks are. So I had to like literally go back out to find my trunks. How do you not know that your trunks are gone? How do you not feel that? I got a lot of junk. A lot of junk. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't know what was going on. Okay, I thought I thought something was swimming around my ankle. <laughs> Twitch! Twitch! <laughs> see that right there? You see that? <laughs> see the time on that right there? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so let's talk about, before we went out of time, let's talk about uh, how busy you are and yeah. how you ever have time to sleep because oh you goodness. have so much going on. Yes. You're, uh, the, the, the show is coming back. Uh, Real Husbands of Hollywood. The, it, that's coming back. Season then you five. have another show, yes. You have, Heart of the City. Then you, ha yeah, how do you, and then you have this movie, yeah. and you're doing another movie in Hawaii right yeah. now, which you flew in from. Yep. And you're going back tomorrow to keep shooting? I go back tomorrow to keep shooting, and once I'm done this, then I start doing Untouchable uh, with me and Brian Cranston. Are you guys laughing at my shorts? Yeah. Uh, didn't know they had that picture. Listen, my character's knees are supposed to be bad. Um, no, that's me and Dwayne and Rock Johnson shooting Jumanji. We're in the jungle. Like, they really put a black man that fears every insect and animal in the jungle. Like, I wish you could see how many takes I'm messing up. It's bad. All right, action. Man, you stop. Everybody stop, stop. 
<laughs> I carry I carry a bottle of Listerine because I read that Listerine kills the mosquitoes. So in between takes, you'll see me. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, we see that. I know you do. Just wait for it to dial down and then let's shoot it again. <laughs> I just hate, I hate bugs, but I'm out there in it, man. So I'm lucky. I'm very lucky and blessed to be this busy. I don't take it for granted.